Hi, I'm Nina and I'll show you some more about the Cloudberry Explorer and S3 Access Control. Here is one of my accounts and its buckets. Buckets are private by default, this means that only the owner has appropriate permissions. You'll see if you view the access control list. This is the owner granted full control. These are built-in user groups, those who sign up for Amazon S3. You can share current bucket so that anyone can access it. To share a bucket to a certain user, click Add and provide user ID or email address. I'll add my other ID. The added user has permissions now. Since the bucket wasn't created by this user, I'll have to add it as an external bucket. Type the bucket name or copy and paste the web link easy to get from the right click menu. And there is the bucket and one file stored. I'm not allowed to view its properties. That is because the file is not shared. It would be better if objects in that bucket can inherit the permissions. Well, the next Cloudberry Explorer version is to support this. But now I have to set permissions for the file, add the user and select access options, but I have a better idea. I'll just drag and drop the file directly to the bucket and open it to make sure it worked. You can easily control access to individual or multiple objects, files, folders, buckets, including external buckets stored in Amazon S3 at a time. That's all for external buckets and access control. Thank you for watching and please check out our other videos.